Messiah, Majesty, Messiah, Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me for your faithfulness to us. Messiah, Majesty. Every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me, our Savior Almighty. Every day, your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness towards me. May Zion Majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me. Champion, shout fire! Yeah. Shout Ururu! Shout Muzozo! You don't sound happy. Shout Muzozo! Shout Mafura! Shout Ongsyo! Amen and amen! Yes, we want to thank the presence of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit! And also want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Amen and amen. amen. All right, stand to your feet. You should know that by now. And then walk up to nine persons. And say to the person, it's so nice to see you. And make sure you ask the person, how is your weekend going? Ask the person, how is your weekend going? Praise God. Praise God. Now, turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 15. I want to show you something in Genesis chapter 15. He says, after these things, verses 1, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding reward. So, here the Lord came to Abraham after talking to him in chapter 12. He said, Abraham, I am your exceeding reward reward, your shield, your protector. Yes, sir. And, and this was also 
more or less the same blessing the Lord pronounced on the Levites when wow. he said he was their inheritance. Mm -hmm. Now, he's saying this to Abraham first because Abraham came before the tribe of Levi. Levi was one of the sons of Jacob. Yes, sir. And Jacob is the grandson of Abraham. So yes, here he says, Abraham, I'm your shield and your exceeding great reward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Abraham said unto the Lord, Lord, what would you give me, seeing that I'm going childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliza of Damascus. It's amazing. Abraham was discussing one of his servants with God. Yes, sir. And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given me no seed. Lo, one born in my own house is my heir. That means the children that are born in my house that are not biologically mine are the ones that are going to inherit whatever you bless me with. It's amazing. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. Now Abraham is saying, Lord, what would you even give me? Because this blessing that you have given me already, it looks like it is the people that are with me that will inherit it. My children will not even inherit anything because I don't have any child. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be your hair, but he that shall come forth from thy bowels shall be thy hair. You will surely have a child. Because as at this time, even Ishmael had not been conceived. Ishmael was conceived in chapter 16, which was the next chapter. So the Lord said to Abraham, uh, don't worry. Uh, Eliza of Damascus will not inherit anything from you. He can manage them, but he will not inherit them. Yes, sir. So you can manage someone's business and never inherit it. Yes, <laughs> anyway. Now, after the Lord had discussed this, all this from chapter 1, from verses 1 to verses 4, happened in a vision. Yes, sir. Wow. And God realized that this guy is someone I, I can't really fully persuade in the vision. Wow. God had to bring him out of the vision. And then he... He said something in verses 5, which is what I, I want us to begin to look at here. And he brought him forth abroad, that means house, outside, yes, sir. and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And Abraham believed in the Lord, and it was counted to him for righteousness. Okay. Verses 5 there is what I want us to really look at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He brought him out mm -hmm. and said, Look towards heaven and count the stars. Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. You, you need to understand that in the days of Abraham, there was no Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like you and I have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. Yes, and so, here, even though Abraham was having a vision with God, God wanted to give Abraham a reference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A reference point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because Abraham needed something tangible. Yes, sir. Because Abraham at this time was above 75. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God met him at 75 in chapter 12. Now this is chapter 15, so he's far above yes, sir. 75. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now God realized these new experiences that I'm giving this guy, um, it's kind of shaky. Because when you look at verses 1 into verses 2, 
Even though God was excited telling Abraham, I am your protector mm -hmm. and yeah. your reward. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Abraham had doubts about it. Mm. But has God not fulfilled his promise yet? He said, I will bless you. We can see from the very same chapter 12 into chapter 13, Abraham was so blessed that even his own nephew became wealthy by following him. Yet, the guy got to a point where he started having some misgivings, some doubts. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord said, okay. The Lord said, you know what? Let me give this guy an experience he's familiar with. Because the way I'm looking at it, this guy is not familiar with these new experiences that I'm giving him. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because yes. this was the first time it was recorded in the Bible, Abraham had a vision with God. So mm -hmm. these, are, these are new. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To be yes, given an elderly man like that, an elder like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. New experiences. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they may not just be too comfortable with it. Yeah. And so God said, okay, le let me communicate with this guy with something that he's familiar with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he brought him out and said, um, look at the heavens mm -hmm. and number the stars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and when Abraham saw that, he believed. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. I mean, but in our day, that should be the reason why you should even have more doubts. Mm -hmm. What is this? Right. Yes, sir. I see stars every day. Yes, sir. Before you came here, didn't you see? Yes, sir. It's already evening. Didn't you yes, see stars? Yes, sir. I see stars every day. So what is this? But the Bible says Abraham believed, which means God showed Abraham something that Abraham was very familiar with, yes. that he held on to yes, as a reference point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do something. Go to Genesis chapter 11. You know, this is chapter 12. Yes, sir. In fact, go to chapter 10 first. Let, let's show you something. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 10. Genesis chapter 10. Genesis chapter 10. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at verses 1. He said, Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. Now, go to verses 25. Verse 25. Follow this carefully. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg. For in his days where the earth was the earth divided, mm -hmm. and his brother's name was Joktan. He said, But in the days of Peleg, yes, the sir. earth was divided. Was divided. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now go to chapter eleven. Now I, I know you are taking notes, but if you can as you take notes, pay attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or if possible, just pay attention. Yes, and then probably when you listen to the message later on, you can Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can make your notes. But if you say uh, you can do both, it's okay. Now, verse 1. It says, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Yes. Yes, and it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Sinai, and they dwelt there. Now, this very east... There is something peculiar about this yes. East. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's very important. Okay. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Because the wise men mm. came from the East yes, and they saw the stars yes, from the East. Yes, sir. Now, here, it says, And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the East, they found a plain in the land of Sinai, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. 
And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. But he says, in the days of Peleg, the earth was divided. So the earth may have been divided, but they were still all of one language. Or he's probably making reference to something that later happened after chapter 11. When he says in the days of Peleg, the earth was divided. Okay. Maybe that came later after the scattering of the language. Mm. But let's just see so. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Mm. The Lord came down. So which means where that tower was being built was actually a place the Lord and his angels used to meet man. So it was a place where the Lord, that particular spot where the tower was, yeah. was a place where the Lord used to come down. Wow. Yes, sir. And even angels. So men encountered angels heavenly bodies yes sir yes, sir. heavenly entities yes sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir it was more or less like a meeting place yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. it was more or less like a church yes, sir. where god where man will come to meet god yes sir yes sir yes sir wow so they said you know what instead of god always coming instead of the lord always coming to meet us let's help him out we will be going to see him. So let's build a tower where we can go and meet him. Yes, sir. That ambition to this day has never expired. It is still in every human being today. Today you even find Christians who say they are going up to the mountain yes. to go and pray. That's true. Today we have Christians who claim, um, you know what, um, let, me go and, let me go and meet one, the man of God. The man of God says, the Lord told me I should always be praying for people at this particular spot. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, at that particular spot, great things always happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is always a meeting place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you wonder why a voodoo priest can build a shrine in a particular place. Yes, sir. Or they can carry out a ritual at a particular junction. Yes, sir. A particular T junction. Yes, sir. And you are wondering, what are they doing at the crossroads there? That particular crossroads, when there are so many, many crossroads. Because that place is a meeting point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man has never relented to this day yes, sir. from that ambition. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Point. But there used to be a place which used to be the concentrated point yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. where immortality yes, sir. encountered mortality, yes, yes, sir. Sir. where divinity and mortality met. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they said, you know what? There's no problem. Ah. Let's build it so that we can always go there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They even made it a city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A tower yes, sir. dedicated yes, sir. solely wow. for heavenly matters. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. What a great ambition. Yes, sir. And to tell you how serious they were, hmm. saw this as a violation of privacy. I was a look man. You are invited, invading our privacy. But God, have you forgotten what you gave them? You gave man a creative ability. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why should you be the one always coming? We are coming to meet you. Yes, sir. And this man could almost get to the point 
where they could access God. Right? They could access God without dying. They would just climb up, climb down. Now, people try to humanly rationalize the whole thing about the Tower of Babel. Today, we have airplanes who can fly into the clouds. And God didn't stop it. So, the, the tower reached the cloud. No, the thing is not even about... Uh, Please bring me a board. Yes, sir. Bring me a board with a marker. Let's show you something. Hallelujah. In science, okay. There's what you call astronomy. And then there's what you call astrology. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Astronomy refers to, refers to the scientific study of stars yes, sir. or heavenly bodies, actually. Heavenly bodies. Let's just say heavenly bodies. HB. Astrology is the study of stars, but not scientific. Yes, sir. This time around, you are looking at the metaphysical studies. Yes, metaphysical study of stars and heavenly bodies. Now, what they teach you in school Is this? This is the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The earth is spherical, yes, sir. like a ball, right? Yes, sir. Then you have, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. The imaginary lines. Yes, 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 yes sir. Huh? Where the earth revolves around. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've seen this before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is different from the solar system. Yes, sir. The solar system is the sun with the planets around yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Do you understand what I was saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the sun is in the center. Yes. The moon is on the side. Yes, sir. Then the nine plan planets. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That's different from this one. Yes, sir. This one now is just the earth. Yes. One of it, the earth. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Let's see, this is Pl earth, Plato, Venice. Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, Uranus. I mean, that's all right. Okay, let's say this is the moon. So this is what you call solar system, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the sun is in the center. Yes, sir. 95 million miles away yes, sir. from the earth. But it's closer to other regions. Okay. And farther from others too. But it's approximately 95 million miles from the earth. Yes, sir. Now, what this one is now is just the earth. We're just taking the earth yes, sir. out yes, of sir. this solar system. Yes, it's, called the axis. it's called the axis. It means just the earth. Just the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you call it? Axis. axis. Okay. Now, this earth is rotating. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Now, Concerning this earth that is rotating, there are imaginary lines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. This is for sure. It's rotating. Yes, sir. Now, this 
imaginary lines that we put on dot dot. They all simply means the tilting of the earth. Yes. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So the earth can tilt yes. this way. Yes. Sometimes it can tilt. Yes. Of, sometimes it can tilt further down. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So when you are looking at the building of the Tower of Babel, yes. these people knew where the highest point. Where this highest point of the earth yes, sir. will come close to the earth. Wow. Aye. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you are thinking it's just cloud, entering the cloud, yeah. you will be the biggest fool. Aye. So these people, yes, sir. without technology, already knew right. yes, sir. how the earth could tilt downwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we tell you now, you are right now currently on top of Australia. Yes, sir. It may not make sense to you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, these people always knew. Yes. The lowest point where the summit of the earth would touch, right? The tilting, the summit of the earth would tilt to the bottom. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And at that point, when it tilts, the heavenly bodies revolve around it. Yes, sir. So it can be equal. Yes, sir. It can yes, be sir. close. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you didn't get it, we can't help you. All right. Don't worry about it. It's not necessary. Really. But how were they able to know this thing? Yes, sir. That's where astrology comes in. Yeah. And this was so powerful that even God said, Man, these people have cornered us. They know how this thing moves. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 1, verses 2 says, The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the, the deep. And the spirit of the Lord moved. So these people have come to understand something about movement. Yes, sir. Yes. Because the Bible says Nimrod was a great hunter yes. before the Lord. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord in chapter 10. Yes, sir. Now, he is now like more or less the king. Yes, and he's the one advocating, let's build a tower that will touch the heavens. Yes, sir. That means that there is a place, like King David said, where heaven can kiss the earth. Yes, sir. So at that point, that's the place where we need to build the tower. Yes. And it was Babel. Oh, it was a meeting point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. We'll come back to this. Since you have made me come here. So, and the Lord said, Behold, <laughs> go back again to verses 5. <sighs> and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. Yes. And the Lord said, Behold, this people is one. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down and confuse them, confound their languages, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from death upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city right yes, sir. but he didn't say they stopped building the tower they left building the city as they were building the tower they were building the city yes. god said if we can confuse them they will not even build the city yes. if they don't build the city they will not focus on the tower yes. but god did not stop them from building the tower. But he stopped them from building the city. If you can confuse them and they don't build the city, because if we all speak different languages, how can we not claim we own the city? Yes. Wow. And so because of that, there was no longer unity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, follow this carefully. 
when they saw what God did. Man, therefore, decided there must be a way through which we can still maintain the same language. Yes, sir. But this time around, it will come in another form. And that is where what you call the zodiac sign came about. Now, go to Psalm 19. Psalm 19. So, you see, what we just read is in chapter 11. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please answer us now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, certainly, when God brought Abraham out and told him to look to the heavens, the word heaven is the Hebrew word Shomahim, yes. which means astrologers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then when he says if you are able to count the stars, the Hebrew word means to tell a story. Can you tell the story of the star of the of astrology? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. So you see, coming to talk to Abraham in a vision, Abraham was not that he was not familiar with that. That was his first experience, and God knew that could not persuade him. He had to communicate with him with something that Abraham grew up with. So what Abraham grew up with was astrology. When it comes to the zodiac signs, yes, how to read stars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you understand the stories. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Bible says, when Abraham did, he believed God. Yes, sir. So he, he didn't mean count the stars. One, two, three. No. The Hebrew word means, the, word, the Hebrew word for count means to tell the story. We'll come to the Hebrew word later. Yes, to tell his story. If you are able to tell the story, yes, then, then, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. So Abraham was able to read the zodiac sign which proved to him yes. that he, was, he will have children. Wow. So when Christians come and say the zodiac sign is nonsense, is satanic, yes, there were people who lived by it. God communicated with them on that grounds. That was the Bible they knew. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because after the law scattered the people with different languages, there had to be one language, one system through which they could still contact heavenly bodies. We told you, God only confused them from building the city, yes, but he didn't stop them from building the tower. Wow. This time around, it was no longer, they decided to move from a physical building yes, into the zodiac sign. Wow. The zodiac sign is now the tower. Yes, sir. Oh. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if they could read it, wow. God can't stop that. Exactly. Yes, sir. Follow this carefully. You will now see something. God scattered what? Their language. Please answer us now. Let's close. Let's close. I don't think. God scattered their language. So none could understand each other. See something. The heavens declare the glory of God. The astrologers. Yes, sir. Shomahim. Shomahim. For heavens. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiworks. Day unto day uttereth speech. 
a night unto night showeth knowledge. There is what? No speech, no language where their voice is not heard. So there's now a uniform language. Astrology. And through the astrology, you the zodiac sign is the platform through which they could encounter the heavenly bodies. Heavenly beings. Now, see, read verses 4, please. One to go. There are lines. Come on. You are not reading. Read. There are lines. What line? This line. So when science in astronomy tells you there's a line that revolves around the earth, it's, it's, it's in the Bible. They are correct. He says the line is gone throughout all the earth. That's why I drew this line. Yes, sir. All the earth. All. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the zodiac sign operates within the parameters of this line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is with this line. This line powers it. Yes, sir. So the revolving of it yes. on that line yes. gives them one uniform language. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Voice. The zodiac sign. Yes. Yes, sir. So you see, therefore, when you look at even for some people in the area of being able to have children, yes, sir. Yes, sir. to be able to have children, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. right? Yes, sir. The line had to fall in your favor. Yes, because God had to bring Abraham out. He said, look, read, read. If you are able to read, tell the story the stars are telling. Now, you mean the stars can align the stars in the sky can align for one human being on the earth for him to know it's time for him to have children. That's what happened to Abraham. Nobody prayed for him. God just says, just come out. You, you, you are familiar with astrology. Come and read what the stars are saying. Then you will know that what I'm telling you is true. That you will surely have children from your body. Yes, sir. So you can see here that what is happening in your physical body yes, sir. has already been written in the stars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is happening in your life. Yes, sir. So someone does not need to pursue you or spy on you to know what is going on in your life. Wow. From where they are, they read the stars. Because it's a uniform voice. One voice is speaking for every language. So you see why the wise men, therefore, were able to locate where Jesus was. So Jesus was not the first person the stars ever aligned for. The stars have aligned for even Abraham. So think about the first 76 years of his life, the first 78 years of his life, no star aligned for him. The only, in terms of having children, the stars that aligned for him was prosperity, was the stars of prosperity, wealth, blessings. That's why you can see someone you may want to mock the person. Why don't you get married? Your mates are getting married, this and that. You don't know whether the stars have aligned yet. And if you force yourself into it, you'll find yourself marrying the person you never should have married. And that is why these people, go and check. Those who patronize astrology in ancient times never made mistakes. Never missed it. Never made mistakes. That was why Abraham was very confident. He told his servant, go and get me his wife for my son. And Abraham did not follow him. You will know. You will know. But there's a reason why we're bringing you here. To let you know that um, the the way the zodiac sign, which the Hebrew call Mozorat, okay. 
because you may hear them use terminologies like Mozorat. People can use terminologies like the Mozorat, it's the zodiac sign. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they either call it the Mozorat or zodiac. Now, uh, me, well, the way people use it today is all wrong. Oh. That's why you don't, even me, I don't encourage anyone to patronize the zodiac yes, sir. when you don't even have a proper understanding of it. Yes, so today, all people know about the zodiac is the amount, Virgo, Scorpion, and all that. Yes, That's actually what the, the enemy, astral forces of darkness, have made people focus on. Yes, but actually, the zodiac signs, yes, the Mozart was never supposed to be used for for human birthdays and all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. It was never supposed to tell anything about you as a human. Oh. It was supposed to tell what heavenly bodies have decided concerning you, ah. but not about you. Now you see why we said the kings, when they were going to war, yes. they would call the astrologers. Yes. Those ones who tell them whether the stars are aligned yes. for them yes. to win. Yes. So you see, when King Joseph had, was now requesting for another prophet, yes. after 400 prophets had prophesied, yes. he was looking for one who could read yes. the Zodiac, yes. the yes. Mozart, yes. what the heavenly bodies yes. are saying. Yes. That's why he now said, I was even part of the council. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? When Micaiah the prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So God did use this thing. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this would tell you it was originally not meant for evil. Oh. But it became evil when all your knowledge was limited to your birthday. So saying that you are Leo, that makes you an agent of darkness. Hey! Saying that you are Capricorn and all that. That makes you an agent of darkness. Now, let's show you something. Go to verses 1 again. It says, uh, look at that verse 4 again first. Verse 4. Their line is gone out throughout all the earth, and they are words to the ends of the world. In them had he set a tabernacle for the sun. Now, here, this will now, here you will know specifically when he talks about the tabernacle of the sun. Now, he's moving higher. That's where he brings in what we showed you earlier, the solar system. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is solar system. This is the sun. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. We know that in science, in astronomy, they say they are nine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, but in astrology, it is 12. But what they are calling planets are actually. <laughs> we'll come to that. We'll come to that shortly. But now go to verses one. It says, The heavens, the astrologers, yes, declare the glory of God, yes, sir. not man. Okay. That's where it was twisted. It was never supposed to be for the glory of man. Yes. The zodiac sign was never supposed to be. Yes, That's why when God showed Abraham what the stars have said concerning him having children, the Bible says he believed God. Wow. He believed God. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. to God's glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it's supposed to be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not for you to say, I'm Leo. Oh, okay, we are strong. We are this. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's not... That's what the enemy has done to many. Yes, sir. And worse still now, they have limited it to a monthly thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, the zodiac was never supposed to be a monthly thing. Yes, sir. It was supposed to be an age to age thing. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you didn't get what we said so far, we can't help you. All right. 
Can you move this board for me as I go? Now, um, go back to Genesis chapter 15. I want you to see something. Verse 5. Can you read verse 5 to me, please? One to go. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. You read sluggish. And it's not good. Or should we just stop? So that. No, sir. Don't think I'm making you an agent of darkness. No, sir. Yeah. He says, and he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the no, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seeds be. And he, he believed God, and it was counted to him for righteousness. So the story was told. Counted means it is told. To recount. Yes. To tell a whole story. So the zodiac is telling a whole story. But now, still within the zodiac, God was now telling Abraham the whole story of the child he will have and what will happen to his generation from the zodiac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's show you something. Go to verse 9. Because God told Abraham to take an offering. And Abraham, through the zodiac, Abraham brought offerings. Okay. Go to verse 12. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a shorty that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them and shall save them. Sorry, let me take it again. Verse 13. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in, in a land that is not theirs, and shall save them. And they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also, that nation whom they shall save will I judge. Afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, this was what God told Abraham would happen to his generation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now put up that thing I, I told you to do for me. Put them up. Let, let's see something. Okay. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So, um, the, the, the folks on Zoom, can you zoom it for them? So that, let's see. Yeah, just focus on the. And, and my folks, yeah, can you do the same too? For one of the screen. They can see it now, yeah. You can do that, right? That's good. That's how far you can go, right? So that they can see it. Okay, that's good. Okay. So they can see. They can see me now. Good. Now, you see, the mistake here people make with the zodiac is this. So, from they see Aries as a month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you following what we're saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they say Pisces, yes, sir. Aquarius. Aquarius. These are months. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But actually, this is what the enemy wants you to believe. Yes, sir. And this is where the zodiac became adulterated. This is where it became corrupted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is where the enemy hijacked it. And it was now being used to control the lives of the people. Yes, it's true. And sad to say the people of God. Because 
those who live by the zodiac signs on the monthly, on the those who have just the monthly uh, knowledge. Let's say you you have a mother who believes on this, without what we've explained to you earlier, it will surely affect you because once it's true, hard the enemy can control the rest of you. Because the error is to see the zodiac sign on a month by month basis. That's where that is where people have been trapped. The zodiac was never supposed to be a month to month thing. Actually, the zodiac each of the each of these was supposed to be an age to age thing. As a matter of fact, from Pisces from Aries to Pisces or to this, each of them was supposed to be like now. Aries was supposed to be for an age of 2000, 2000 years. Some say 2180 years. Before it moves into Pisces. For another 2000 or 2100 and something years. For instance, Jesus is is spices and we are still in spices we've not entered even aquarius yet we've not entered because it has not teetered into aquarius yet we're still in spices because these the birth of jesus the stars those white men saw was the final end of aris into aquarius that was when jesus was now born so all the stars aligned that it was moving from Aries yes, into Pisces. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're still in Pisces. We have not even entered Aquarius yet. Yes, yes, but they are telling you it's a month-to-month yes. thing. Yes, this now will begin to make you understand the period Jesus was born. Wow. Yes, sir. Okay. If you didn't get that, we can't help you. So you see, what people know today about the zodiac sign is completely wrong. Because we told you Genesis chapter 15. We read it. God was telling Abraham about his generation that would be in bondage even for 400 years. From the zodiac, Abraham was seeing everything. So, what was it Abraham saw? All these signs. These signs tells you the story. It all began in Genesis 15. That's where this thing these images. These are the ones. I'm not talking about, not even the lines now. The pictures you see. These pictures, they are very real. This was also what Abraham saw. Now, if you see it this way, you see it as something you don't really understand. So, let's at least, let's see what we can give you then we'll close. Maybe in our next car we'll teach you more. Now, follow this carefully. Bring me the board. Bring me the board. Thank you. Follow this carefully. Now, please, even what we have told you, don't go and say you want to go and read things about this. Because what they will give you on the internet is satanic. Exactly. So, if you can be patient, at least we can give you balance on this. That's how we... Don't be foolish thinking you are wise. Now, follow this carefully. There's what you call the Hebrews. There's what you call the Jews. The Hebrew was the ancient name 
for what is known today as the Jews. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But those from Judah originally were called Jews. Yes. Yes. But today, we use the common term Jews for all of them. But in the days of Moses, the people he brought out of slavery were called Hebrews. Yes, sir. And these folks, God gave them a calendar. Yes. And that calendar is called the Hebrew calendar. Yes. Follow this carefully, please. It's called the Hebrew calendar, yes, sir. which some interpret as the ecclesiastical ecclesiastical calendar. And in this ecclesiastical calendar, um, it is 30 days for every month. Complete 30 days for every month. Which will, right now is on a pause, is on hold, but it will resume after the rapture. When you read Revelations chapter 11. It is on pause so that the Roman calendar what is called the Gregorian calendar yes, can sir. come in, which is what we are under. That's why some months we have 30 days, 29, 31 days, and all that. But this ebook calendar has a balance, but it's on pause right now. And this ebook calendar begins with the month of April. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Some say the last few days of March into April. But April, it begins with the month of April. Yes, so the first month in the Hebrew ecclesiastical calendar is April. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the Gregorian calendar today, we say January. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. you see everything as a word shifted. So on that grounds, you can't really trust this anymore. Yes, this is still what it is, but because of the adjustments yes, by man, you can't trust the interpretation again. For you to now have the right interpretation of this, you have to go back to the Hebrew. That's why we took time to be explaining. But the calendar did not even begin with Abraham. It began with Moses in Exodus chapter 12. Go to Exodus chapter 12. When the Lord delivered the children of Israel from Egypt, that particular month where he delivered them was April. It was the month of April. Now, read verses 1 and 2 to me, please. Stop, 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 stop. You are reading like you are frustrated. Please read again. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. You see that? Now, go to chapter 13. Read verses 4. Read. This day came you out in the mouth of Abib. Yes, the month of Abib is actually April. So, it began, the calendar, yes. the Hebrew calendar began with Moses. The night the children of Israel came out of Egypt. Wow. 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 God now said, that's where Passover came. Yes. That's why today, Passover, even in the Middle East, is done every April. That's the reason for Easter, yes. every April. Yes. It's more or less, it's what the, the Babylonians call Nisan. In the days of Esther, yes, sir. Nisan yes, sir. Wow. is this. Okay. Now, there's a reason why we're bringing you here. The reason why we brought you here. Go back again to that look. Hallelujah. Now, when we told you about the Hebrew 
and the Jewish calendar. There's a reason. In the interpretation of the Zodiac, the Hebrews, they start from Aris. And they go this way. Till they get to Pisces. But the Jews, in the days of Jesus, did it from Pisces this way. But going this way is, is challenging. Because it's like rewinding a history to replay. But some have said it is the best order because here they make reference to the new millennium after the rapture. But the story from Genesis 15 what God was showing Abraham about his generation was all of this. And that is why here, Aris, it begins with Aris. If you notice, although they write March 21st to April 19th, but April, Abib. Yes, so, Aris, yes, in the Zodiac, what God was showing Abraham that night yes. was this. He showed him this image. Yes, and this was going to be the history. So, what you are reading in just two verses, your generation will be in bondage for... 400 years that you see that you think is just two verses it was a whole story till Jesus is coming because Jesus came in Pisces and we told you each age is about what 2000 to 2180 years not months so you see here this age Aries the reason why you have this image here this will tell you, this was when the Jews, the Hebrews, slaughter rams. In Exodus chapter 12, they will pick it on the 10th day of the month of April and then slaughter it four days after. Roast it and then celebrate the feast from 14th to 21st, seven days. The 14th was a holy conv convocation and then the 21st was also a holy convocation yes, within sir. the seven days. Yes, so this, the, this, this therefore was an era of deliverance from Egypt. So here, Aris is, when you look at the, the stars, it falls on deliverance from bondage. It was a deliverance of bondage, yes, from the house of bondage. Yes, so you can understand why the redeeming of the firstborn is very important. Yes. In Exodus chapter 13, yes. because the Lord said every firstborn must be redeemed. Yes. Because God killed every firstborn. Yes. Because there was no Bible in their days. Yes. But this was how they could communicate with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And from there, they now entered a new age. Yes. The age of the Lord, which is Taros. Which is why they slaughter bulls. Yes. When he says if a high priest. Yes. This was that was why God was angry with those who built the golden calf. Yes. Because yes, through the through the Mozarat, which is this, yes, they went to do it on their own yes. using a, an image. Yes. Meanwhile, the golden calf they built yes, with gold. Was actually God was actually what God wanted them to be slaughtering for the atonement of their sin yes, later on. So while God was talking to Moses up in the mountain, yes, sir. giving them giving Moses laws right. and yes, the yes, sacrifices yes. they will be using for atonement, yes, yes, some sir. men already picked it up yes, sir. Ah! Yes. and started making. That was why Aaron was both the high priest for God and for these men. Yes, he built the calf. Yes, So the atonement, this age moved yes, from this age. That's why Gemini means twins. Yes, it's twins. Hallelujah. Oh. Right? Yes, yeah. Are you following this? Yes, ah. It was a story of a people. So Moses was seeing was seeing it. So beyond what you read. The house of bondage, being there for 400 years, 
Mo Abraham, sorry, saw beyond all those things. Abraham was seeing all of this. He was seeing the story of his generation that will come from his body. So God was just trying to tell him, why are you rushing? You are eager to have children. See what will happen to your generation. Then from this, you now have the crab. Sorry, you have cancer or a crab. Now, some have interpreted it to be the gathering because a crab gathers and all that. But I see it as an opportunity where they were, they were, this was where the anointed was after the anointed to attack him. This was actually the days of the judges. But remember, the days of the judges came before the prophet. This crab here has to do with um, an age of the judges. Because that lasted for over 450 years, according to Paul, by estimate. But don't forget, they were under bondage from other uh, they were under colonial rule from the Philistines and all that. Okay, Leo now, and that this age ended with King Saul and fell on King David. That's why you have Leo as the lion, the kings. Well, let's close. You are not getting this now. And so this lion now is the days of the kings. The days of the kings. Yes. And that and that fell into the reign of Isaiah where he prophesied a virgin giving birth. Now, there's a reason why we'll pause here today. Then we'll continue. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. This Aquarius here, you can just have it in mind. We'll discuss it more. This was the days of um, John the Baptist from Malachi from the last prophets down to John the Baptist, an outpouring wow. of the Spirit before the arrival of Jesus yes, in crisis. But we'll, come to, we'll go to uh, Libra, Scorpion, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Now, under the zodiac, what we're explaining to you now, yes. you may not really see it. So you'll be looking at what does, why should this image mean this? No. There's what you call. Under each of them, there's what you call Dickens. Dickens. And there are 36 Dickens. Wow. Each has 33. Yes. 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. We'll explain what each one means. Wow. Even when you see the markings. Yeah. There you can see that this was what God was showing Abraham. In Genesis chapter 15. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Now, next class will explain more. Although, no doubt, it does talk about when some preachers talk about the uh, Mozart, this zodiac sign, that it refers to Jesus. They are not wrong, too. Because at the end of the day, Jesus, he still finally ended with Jesus. Jesus is spices. Yes, sir. Now, you see this, this black circle here? Yes. This black circle here, this center here, yes. this center here is actually the sun. Yes. And so when he says in Psalm 19, uh, the, 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 the sun is tabernacled, yes, yes, this is what he's talking about. Wow. This is what he's talking about. This is the sun. These are all. So when, they, when astronomy says there are nine planets, here he says there are 12. Yes. See, in astronomy. I didn't know it's 12. It's true. It's true. And this, you could understand, also could refer to the 12 tribes of Israel, wow. which Jacob had. <clears throat> so, it was all about giving God glory. That's yeah. the point. All right. In our next class, we'll look more into this, right? But we stopped at what? Virgo, right? We'll talk about Virgo. Then we'll start looking at the, the Dickens. That way, you can now see that what people know today about the zodiac sign is completely wrong. Of course, there are some ministers who have graciously interpreted each of these signs 
to be the 12 apostles of Christ. But it's okay. And, and they are not wrong because in their analysis, they were very correct with what they said. But you can see the 12 tribes of Israel fell into it. The 12 disciples also fell into it. Each one. But the whole essence of the zodiac sign was to be to the glory of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not to know about another human being. Yes, that God never liked. So the whole thing has been corrupted. Yes, sir. That's why today, even many of us as ministers who know the truth don't encourage people to patronize the zodiac. Yes. And this, that was what, also what God forbade the children of Israel not to do. Observer of times yes. is this thing. Because he knew it has been corrupted already. Because the moment I know your month, I, I can't control you. You don't know. <laughs> and those who really rely heavily on these things never make it with God. Because there's a hatred God has for people who try to follow this thing on a monthly basis. There's a hatred God... Maybe in our next slide, I will show you the scripture. You see God's hatred towards people who patronize things like this. I never did actually, but I know this thing. But I never patronized it. To know. I had classmates who used to be keen about these things. Yes, sir. But talk to the Lord. Bless his name. Father, help me. Let my life give you glory. Lord, forgive me. In any way, I patronized it wrongly. In any way, I patronized the zodiac sign wrongly. Lord, please forgive me. You are not being honest now. Some of you, you know you have done some of these things. You have read books about this thing. Father, please forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Praise God, 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 praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I'm a success forevermore. I'll never be an enemy to God. Now, if you look at the four elements, there you get to see the elements, fire, earth, air, and water. Now, these elements, if you notice, here he's talking about which element dominates which age. Each age. Yeah, understand. So when you understand these things, you can know what the move is. Which element will dominate within an age? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And so between Jesus and now, the element dominating is the water element. Yes, sir. Because Pisces is under with fishes too. Yes, you can now even understand why Jesus liked to eat fish all yes, the time. Yes, and he met fishermen yes, and all that. It was just because of that, that age. And we're still in that age. Yes, sir. The age will be coming. That's why he calls it the last age. You see why it is the last is the last. If you start counting from a beep, yes. like that, we're in Pisces. And Jesus' return is still in Pisces. So this, that's why we're in the last age. Wow. This is the reason why, if what the Bible calls the last age, is Pisces. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because after the Pisces, everything has ended. So some of what we go to church to go and learn, so those who really know the truth about this, who don't come to church, Already, they are following it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I'm a success forever. I'm a success forever. All right, talk to the Lord. Bless His name. Father, give me a divine encounter with you. Give me a divine encounter with you. Majesty, Majesty.
Thy Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me. For your faithfulness was 